All right, now that we have a good idea of the different metrics that go into hashtags and a better idea of how to use Flick, now we're gonna walk through finding tags to use on the eight post challenge. So once again, we're gonna dive into my computer and we're gonna go through this process, again, using the example of Best Day Osman's account and her niche and sub niches. So let's dive in. All right, so we're back into Flick. And as you can see from our previous video, we still have the travel up here. So that's going to be Best Day's primary niche. So that's a great place to start but likely if you're coming with a primary niche, it's probably very competitive. And that's exactly why we had our related sub niches to give us a more diverse set of tags and targeting opportunities. So we're gonna add some more here. So we know that her, one of her sub niches that we outlined earlier was backpacking. So we're gonna add that tag in there. And then her other sub niches, which is travel guide, we're gonna have to travel guide, travel photography, and again, these are all coming from the sub niches that we outlined earlier that are related to her primary niche of travel. So then after travel photography, we have budget travel. And finally, the last sub niche that we outlined for her, which was girl traveler. So what this is going to do is leveraging the research and time that we've already invested into figuring out what niche we're in, what sub niches we're in, and who we're trying to target that are also aligned with those interests and categories, simply by putting in these different relevant subcategories that we outlined earlier. Flick is going to suggest tags for you. So this is an exceptional place to start. And again, it provides a ton of different information on the key metrics that we can compare to our account, the level of engagement we receive to get the best idea possible as to the likelihood of us ranking on those tags as long as the content is relevant. So this is a great place to start. It's gonna provide us with a ton of different ideas. And when you're going through and creating your different sections for each set of tags, you wanna to try to use some from each of your niche and sub niche categories to get the most well-rounded set of tags within each collection. So we can dive even deeper into these tags and tailor them to our collections as well as our account through adding in some hashtag filters. So you wanna tailor these filters to your account and your levels of engagement. Looking into best day's level of engagement, we know that on a low end, her post is gonna receive around 300 likes. And on the high end, you're looking at 13, 1400 likes. So we wanna keep these numbers in mind to add these custom filters to our hashtag research to make all of these tags super specific to our account. That's what makes this whole thing work because it's completely tailored to you and your account. So within this, we can just add a hashtag filter. So we know that say our average likes is greater than, so the minimum amount of likes since best day typically never receives less than 300 likes, we would throw that filter in there. And then less than, because at our high end, she's looking around 1400 likes, we would wanna add that filter in there, okay? And then to get it even more specific down, the media count, remember how we said that we're looking for levels of competition within our sets and collections? We could say a minimum of zero, okay? And then maximum of, which is less than, then a maximum of 50,000. If you recall, that was our first set. You also don't need to be too strict here. Remember what we mentioned previously, we're gonna be optimizing our strategy over time. So creating a nice base with a wide range of hashtags is pretty crucial to understand what does or does not work for our account. Also, if you're a smaller account and you're looking at this thinking, how can I apply this if I only get a maximum of 200 likes or so per post, then don't worry. Continue watching this video and then watch the adapted version of the strategy created by Loic that's specifically for smaller accounts. So by simply applying these filters, this now, Flick will now populate all of these tags given those parameters. So now all the information that you're being fed is best tailored to your specific account and giving you the best opportunity to rank in these tags because you have that live data right there. Another great thing for time efficiency within Flick is once you add these different filters, it then allows you to view them all in real time for each hashtag niche or sub niche that we've outlined earlier. So then this is gonna actually allow us to create the different collections and sort these tags into the different sets that will be used in the challenge. So let's say if we actually wanna start creating our first set of tags, we know that the first set was for posts that have between one and 50K results. So we can actually use that right here and all the tags shown to us are going to fall into that category because we assigned that filter. So I'm going through this, obviously the top tag, which we've outlined as a sub niche, isn't gonna fall within the parameters of the filters. That's because that's the category that we had set. Everything below that 
is going to be what's related to that tag. And that's where we're going to find the information that falls within our parameters for average likes, as well as posts made. So when going through to pick these, like we said, you want to include a few from each to get a diverse group of tags within each set. But another thing you want to look at when going through these is for sure the potential reach as well as competition, but you want to actually scroll over here. If you hover over that, you want to look at the featured posts. This is going to be something that Flick populates for you. And why you want to look into this is because you want to ensure that the content that you're going to be using these tags on aligns with the feel and aesthetic of the current ranking and featured posts that Flick will show you in real time. Why you want to do this is because if you can ensure that your content is aligned with that, it's aligned with the aesthetic, the type of value, the type of content itself, that's going to give you a far greater chance of ranking on those tags when again, it falls within the metrics that we've shown you how to find. So as you can see right here, let's just look through these. So travel addict, let's go to, yeah, let's look at travel addict is, and her account and content would align great to that. So if you want to use this tag in your first set, what you would do is just click it over here and then let's look for another one within this section. Solo travelers, let's look for that. And her content would fit exceptionally right there. So we're going to click solo travelers and then we just pick two that we're going to later add to our first set. And the next thing we would do is go to girl traveler. Again, we're trying to diversify this. So girl travels falls within the post made and the content fits right there. Girls travel diary. Again, her content makes so much sense there. We're going to pick another two right there. Let's go to backpacking adventure guide, backpacking gear, get lost with me. I like that. So we're going to use that again. We're just trying to find posts that we can rank in and then align with the filters that we have set here, which is flick makes super easy for you. Travel blogger, her content would fit very well within there. So again, we're trying to diversify within these sub niches to pick a few from each to set each set, set each set. So we're going to go through, pick a few more here. So again, you also do want to make sure that these fit with the content. So obviously best day isn't a guy who travels. So you probably wouldn't want, wouldn't want to use this tag because again, the relevancy isn't there. So that's also very important and something that you have to stay on top of. So we're just looking for two more here. Let's go back to budget travel. Travel now, life later. No, life of a traveler, I like that better. So then for the final tag for this set, we'll go over to travel and we'll pick one more from here. Let's see my travel blog. Her content works very well with that. It fits in with the top ranking posts. We'll click that. So then we hover over to here. We have 10 selected hashtags and we know that these all fall within our first set, zero to 50K posts. We said that was set one. We then can click the selected hashtags and we can add them to a collection. So this is going to be set one, zero to 50 K. And then simply we just click add to that. We now have our first set completely done. Then once we want to move forward from this, all we would do. So we would just go in here. We don't want to adjust the average level of likes because we know that doesn't change. It's specific to her account. Now we just want to add greater than 50,000. And then the next category, which is less than 100,000, one, two, three, apply. And that's going to change the tags that fall within each category. So now we have a new set of tags to go through, repeat the process, see things that are relevant, see opportunities for great potential reach that fall into these different categories and add another 10, a few from each niche and sub niche, and then add that to set two, continue with three, four, five, and six, adjusting the filters each time. So following those will allow you to formulate each set of tags that will be used for the corresponding posts from the eight post challenge. So all of these tags that you've now formulated are specific to your account, your niche and sub niches, as well as your level of engagement, providing you the best opportunity to reach more people and rank on tags. Again, feel free to rewatch this section if anything is confusing. Once you have a solid grasp on this, we'll then move into the next section of the course, which is posting our content for the eight post challenge to compile that data and refine our strategy moving forward.